Hi guys, it's me, Sam. I'm here live woo, with nobody. Um, now I'm here to show you guys what I got at the Goodwill outlet. It's been a couple days I've been going. It's a new store, so they're like working out their kinks still and uh, like working out how much they need to put out. And like, I don't know, a lot of it is pools from their uh, shelves that didn't sell in store. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. I just got back, it's like right down the street for me, it's so exciting. I, can't, I used to drive four hours to go to the outlet in Austin, Texas, because I live in Corpus Christi, Texas. But now I don't have to do that. I can just drive three minutes down the street and I don't have to worry about like rushing, like when I would drive to Austin, I would rush to find stuff. Like I would be throwing stuff in my cart, just any brand that was even slightly good. I would just be getting it because I didn't have an outlet near me that I could go to. So I was like, I have to make the best of this trip, but now I don't have to do that. I can take my time and I can just get good stuff that I want to get. So I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys what I got. I got a lot of bras today. And a few other days, I think this is about maybe three or four trips, but all consecutive days. Like, so it's not, it's not a lot of stuff, honestly. So I'll start with the bras. So here's the first one. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I couldn't wear this if I wanted. It's a 36D. Not me, you guys. <laughs> but so this is a Victoria's Secrets bra. It's pretty. It's still in good shape. No wires are poked poking out. Mm, I think this one is also Victoria's Secret, or this one might be Soma. No, this one is also Victoria's Secret. This one's a plain one. It has the soft cups. Those are popular. The soft cups. Some, I don't know. Everybody's different. Do you want your boobies to look shaped or natural? <laughs> okay, I will not talk about boobies anymore. Okay, here is another one. This one is a Soma bra. There's a lot, of, like, I haven't seen any other resellers looking for things at my, the, they call it a clearance center here. It's not a, called an outlet. Uh-oh, my son is here. Is there any rainbow fish? If you go wait a minute, I'll, I'll go get you some, okay? Go watch your show. It's all rainbow. Rainbow fish, okay. All right, so this one is Soma. It's a little bit misshaped, but if I wash it and let it dry in the right shape, it'll be better. Hey, so. Sweetheart, go and play, please. No, Aiden. My son wants to be on my YouTube channel. This is my little boy. He's four years old. So, okay, go ahead. No, no. I want to give you a kiss. Okay, one kiss. One hug. One hug. <sighs> <laughs> okay, hug and kisses. Now go play. Oh. Okay. Go and play. Okay. Oh. Sit your ball. I'm sorry. Can't go, go, my love. Please don't put that ball on your face. Oh, so this one's not a bra. It's a swimsuit top, but it's Victoria's Secret also. It does need to be cleaned. None of this stuff, I've, I haven't cleaned any of it yet. A lot of it's just dirty from being in the bin. Like, it has just some dirt spots. You can barely see that. But it's still in good condition. It's pretty neon. There's so many bras, and there's so many swimsuits and shorts at my bins right now. Is there any more bras in here? Oh, here's one. This is a, a an Avenue sports bra. What size is this? This is a it's a five X. It's a pretty big. I don't find a lot of five X. This one's five X. It's a big one. If I had, I mean, I don't know that my waist would ever be that big, but whoa, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a nerd, dude. <clears throat> it's nice, it's still pretty and clean. It's got the straps on it. 
Nice. I was excited to find a boat and swim. <clears throat> Honestly, the area where I live in, we don't get a lot of high end things in the store, like at all. I think we have an e commerce division that kind of picks through stuff and takes out uh, some of the high end stuff. You still, every once in a while, find it. Um, so, different stores, some of them are donation sustainable, like they can fill their store with just the donations that they receive at that store. And then they even get, will get excess and it. So there's one specific store in my city that is like that. So I will constantly find higher end brands there, like as opposed to the other stores in town. But then there's also the idea that like, they don't, the, the people that they train and they, they hire and train to recognize the brands don't always know all of the brands. For instance, they have no idea what For Love and Lemons is, which is awesome. So, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so thing I got was this swimsuit top, pinkini. This one is Coco Reef. Um, I've seen... Coco Reef do well, and I've seen them not do well, but for $1.49 a pound, this is probably five ounces, six ounces. I think it will be good. And my son is on his way back looking for some attention. Here's another Victoria's Secret bra. Bra? I can talk. It's a bra. So this one was a little bit rougher on the lace. It has some spots that I need to trim, but it's still in good condition. It actually looks really new on the inside. I feel like they maybe just gave it a wash and didn't realize that it needed to be on a delicate cycle or something. So <clears throat> I'll clean the little threads up on this one, reshape it a little bit and get that one sold as well. Oh, these I got for myself. I got leggings. I do uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I watch my and TV. Thank you, son. My thing is on the Go and play, and yeah. I'll get you your goldfish. So this is <laughs> some just some leggings for myself. So like, there's the cotton kind of leggings, and they show sweat a lot. Like if you sweat a lot when you work out and you wear like the cotton stretch type leggings, you can see all of the sweat that happens. With these types of leggings, it doesn't show as much. So I needed another pair. Okay. Oh, here's another swimsuit top. This one is also Victoria's Secret. It's, it's, this one's cool. It doesn't have a closure in the back. It only ties in the front. So it was a little bit different. That's why I picked this one up, even though it was plain black. And plus, when people are buying individual pieces, you can't buy two printed, like a, a top and a bottom, two prints, and they don't match, or you have to try to find the ones that match. But if you have just a, it should be good. This is, I mean, all of these swimsuits and bras, I only expect to sell for 15 to 20 dollars i don't ex except for maybe the bowden one the bowden one might be more but <clears throat> okay this is a life in good life is good uh, zip hoodie <laughs> babe if you don't go and play right now I then you won't be getting any goldfish I then go go please so this is a life is good zip hoodie. It has a, a tree, some tree embroidery. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one. One second.
I'm back. I'm so sorry. I have. Ugh. And he is working real hard to get my right now. I feel bad, but you know. Got a video, man. I gave him the snacks he was bugging for. Anyway, so purple's my favorite color. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for myself. I might. Oh, uh, this is just a school shirt for my kids. <clears throat> so this is the next thing I got. This is a umgy, like cold shoulder, loose fit top. Pretty sheer too, but it's really pretty. The embroidery is pretty on it. You know, I'm not sure um, how well Umji does anymore. It used to do all right, <clears throat> but I haven't sold anything Umji in a while, so I'm not sure. We'll see. Then, oh, this is a Mountain Hardware fleece little three-quarter zip mock neck sweater. I'm not sure if this is men's or women's. It kind of looks like men's. What? Yeah, it's men's. It's a men's large. So that should do good. That should do good. I got these. Victoria's Secret pink little sweatpants. There's some stickers. Sticker burrs in the pants. I'll have to clean out. They're size medium. Or maybe a little, they might have a little bit of washout. No, I think it's just a glare from the light. They're in good condition. So I will be listing those. They do have some fuzzies on the inner thigh, but I'll just use my fabric shaver. I call it a fuzzy eater. Fuzzy eater, a fuzzy eater. And I found these uh, loft jeans. They're size two. I might keep them. I'll have to try them on. That's a bad thing about going to the bins and like sale day at thrift stores is that every should I keep it? <laughs> but I probably won't. It'll be okay. <clears throat> Just two more things in this bag and then I have a pile, small pile and a bag. So this is a Roxy swimsuit top. So if you guys don't know, Corpus Christi, Texas is right on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico. So we have beach and then maybe 30 minutes from here, we also have lake. And so we have, we get lots of swimwear. So this is a Roxy. This one's cool. Like the back is the little strappies and then it ties in the front. I like this one. It's way too big for me, but. I like it still. Oh, I think that's everything from in here. So let's see. So these are the things that I got yesterday. I found this is a a North Face like high vent DT. I think it's kind of it seems like a windbreaker or like a raincoat maybe but it does have one spot where it's messed up to right here you can see but um i've sold like a marmot marmot like a version of this exact same thing but it was a green one and it was on the inside of the hood <clears throat> which this one does not oh look it has another tie. i checked it pretty well but so people will still buy it like it'll still it'll still sell even with this small amount of damage, you know. So, and this is a cool orange color. I think it'll do well. I didn't even check yet um, how much those go for. Oh, these are just a pair of jeans or pants for my husband. People don't usually tend to care as long as you disclose it. It should be okay. So these should do do well. They're a uh, size 18 to 20. They're pretty big. Maybe these are children's. Do you think they're children's? I'll have to look them up. 
I'm sure they have a style number. I think Columbia has a style number. It doesn't say youth. Hmm. I'll look them up and see. But so those should do pretty well. And then I got some bull head cut off braid denim shorts. I have quite a few. Okay, so that was one whole day. Oh, I forgot. This cute little teddy. I checked it. All the lace is still good. There's no rips or tears. It's Victoria's Secret. So it should do good. No snags. It's cute. It's fancy. So there's that. Let's see. So this is so this is day three. This is the third day of shopping. This is an um G lace vest. I checked it pretty thoroughly also and pretty. It should do well. <clears throat> this is a Nolly mini skirt. Nolly is like a skate brand. I might might take a picture in this and put it on my Instagram. It's cute. I like Nolly. I have a really cute uh like sun washed sweater. And it's purple and pink. It looks really nice. Nolly makes cool stuff. Okay, next is this is a black house or white house black market. I know how to say brands. It's new with tags. It still has a tag on it. It was originally 78. It was a two piece set, but I could not find the skirt. So I just got the top and I'll list it by itself. So that's cool. What else did I get? Oh, here's another little teddy by Victoria's Secret that I checked really good. Doesn't have any snags in the lace. So I'll be listing that. These are the coolest to get because at the bins is by the pound. This is like maybe two ounces at the most. So, I mean, it's super cheap and I'm sure I can sell it for at least 20 bucks. That'll be good. Oh, here's a big pile of shorts, big pile of shorts. And then I think, oh, shorts and one sweater. And then it's going to be the next day of shopping. So, like I said, it was four days. I've already gone through two. This is the third day. So I'm almost done with it. So here's another, a pair of vanilla star shorts. Oh, I'm blurry. I'm not blurry. So these are, uh, vanilla star isn't like a super expensive brand, but it's going to be shorts season soon. It's short season all the time here in Texas or South Texas, but these will do well. Here's another pair of bullhead cut off denims. These ones are actually rolled a little bit and they're, they're torn up, but these are cool. They're in style, right? Hopefully they're still in style. Maybe I'll be wrong and everybody will be wearing long, long shorts. Here's a, a bigger pair of some black denim shorts. These are refuge brand. These are size 14. Hey, look, a pin. These are just Arizona jeans. They're little girls, but look how cute they are. If I don't put these to sell, I'll make one of my kids wear them. I have two little girls that are nine and seven and they will, they could wear these for the 4th of July. They probably won't, but I could try. Oops. Oops. I accidentally answered that. <laughs> I should put it on quiet. No more ringing. But still in style, kind of shorts for whenever it's warmer. And this I got for my husband, but I don't think he really wants it. It's just uh, <clears throat> on the bias hoodie. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the last day of stuff. The fourth day. Well, I guess I'm going backwards. So this is the first day of stuff. So I got these. I paired guest jeans because they're so heavily decorated on the pockets. So normally, I would not get these at the bins. But they were right on top and I saw them and I was like, ah, whatever. I got them. But the Goodwills in my area... For the whole week, they will have a certain 
um, color tag on 50% off. Only linens and clothing, never books or anything else. And then on Sunday, they will have that color tag that's been 50% off all week for 99 cents. And after that, they pull them from the racks and then they send them to the clearance store now. Um, so I would normally get pants like these at 99 cent day because these weigh more than a pound and it costs a dollar. It doesn't make sense to pay a dollar 49 a pound when I can get them for just 99 cents, no matter how much they weigh. But these were cool. They were in good condition. So I just got them. I could hope that there's money in the pocket. Nope, no money. Okay. Next. Oh, I got this for myself. It's just a crop top. <clears throat> okay, more swimsuits. Here's a Victoria's Secret. It's a little bit out of shape, but a Victoria's Secret strapless one. I wish the strap was there, but you could just, someone could just use a pink strap with this, so it'll be fine. So I got that one. Here's this one. This is a body glove one, right? Yeah. A body glove bikini top. Here's, oh, I got this Nike little sweater because it's so yellow. It's very cool. It's a cool yellow. And if I remember right, the red tag is the Nike tech. I don't sell a lot of Nike stuff because I don't find a lot of Nike stuff that's not completely ruined. Um, I mentioned earlier, I watch Nicole State quite often and she lives in Portland and there they have the Nike manufacturer place where they, they make the stuff, I guess. And uh, so they, she finds Nike stuff all the time that's like still in good condition, but I don't. But this is a pretty cool one. I like the color. I like it. And it seems pretty much unused. Like look at the little things. They're still like flattened. It's like it hasn't even been washed or anything. Cool. Oh, I was so excited when I found this. I was digging and digging, trying to find the bottoms. I wish I could have found them. This is a Kate Spade it's a bikini top. Look at it, it's a bow. It's so cute. It's a size medium. So I, I did look this one up. And even though it's Kate Spade, because it's used and it's only the top, it doesn't have the bottom and it doesn't have the strap. I think I can sell this for 30, but none, all of the ones of this type of bikini with the big bow like this that were listed were already sold. So there was none listed that had not sold. So that's pretty cool. So I'll probably get this listed <clears throat> pretty quickly because I want to get the money for it. <laughs> okay, let's see what else do we have. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. This I might keep. It's like a little bodysuit. It's just, it's forever 21, but I'm like 34, but I kind of dress like I'm like 18. <laughs> it's okay. I might sell it. <clears throat> I might not. Oh, I have one out. This is just a Land's End tankini top. This is cool. Black and white stuff always does really good when you get individual pieces because you can just get a black or white bottom to go with it, right? But this one seems in good condition. It hasn't been worn that much. <clears throat> These I got just because they were so light. They're just a Banana Republic sleep shorts. I might keep them for myself. I don't know. They're really soft. They're kind of like a, I bet they're a linen cotton blend. Where are you tag? Oh, just a hundred percent cotton and then silk trim. Oh, look, they have tears on the inside. Boo. I shouldn't have got these. Look, it's torn. Well, I guess I will keep these for myself. 
Either that or I'll redonate them. They look it's pretty big. We'll see. I'll see. I might keep them. I might not. <clears throat> this is just a little girl's uh, Cat and Jack swimsuit, but still has the tag on it. Cat and Jack. It's my daughter's size, so if summertime comes and they still don't have any swimsuits that they picked out that they like, then they might be getting this one. Here is some Vigos cut off shorts. They got some bleach splatters on them. These may be like some that someone cut off themselves. I'm not sure. They have something in the pocket. Oh my gosh. You guys. A peppermint and a dollar. This is the best. I've never found money. I'm not using that though. <laughs> Now I got to check the other pockets. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe it. I found the dollar and a peppermint. And I mean, it's just a dollar, but still, I'm still checking the rest of the pockets. Yeah, so sweet. That's cool. I like these. If they were my size, I'd probably wear them. They look big for me, though. Let's see. Oh, we're coming to the end of the bag. Okay, so these are some carbon shorts, but it's just sell these at Rue 21, which is like a cheaper mall brand, but they're new with tag. They still got the tag on them. So, let's see, the tag. I picked them up because I can sell them. These are some RBCA. Wait, R. RVCA. <laughs> yeah. These aren't good because he would keep them if they were. So those are cool. And then last, just some American Eagle men's swimming trunks. So I've been, not only is there a lot of shorts and swimming gear and bras and panties always <laughs> at the bins. It works out because those are like the lightest things and you can make a decent profit on it. So I really look for items like these instead of looking for like heavy jackets and things where you're going to be paying like you were just at a regular Goodwill store. You know, they cost that much to buy a jacket that's five pounds. You're still paying to like between seven and ten dollars. Like that's a that's a lot. I could get that on 99 cent day Sundays and not pay that much. So when I'm at the bins, I'm looking for things that are lightweight that I can make the most money on my, my dollar. And even though these are just American Eagle, like American Eagle is popular. People like to buy them. They're not super expensive. They make fun on trend things, you know? So, and like these, you can tell they're, they're just from the last season. They're not old, you know, they're not overworn or stained. So I can sell these for 15 to $20 when they weigh probably about four ounces, you know? So I paid at the most 50 cents for these and I can sell them for 15 to $20. I think that's really good. I think that's the best option whenever you're buying things at a bins. So my bins is still really odd because they just opened. They opened the day after my birthday on December 17th. So they've only been open for maybe going on three weeks now or just over three weeks. So I think that, you know, they move things really slow still. There's not a lot of people shopping here in Corpus Christi. There's not a lot of resellers. It's not like Austin or Los Angeles where you know, there's a lot of really on-trend things being donated a lot. We're not, it's not a big town. I mean, we're under 500,000. If we're over 500,000, I'll be surprised. But like, yeah. So when I go there, everybody's shopping. Like there's the shoppers that are buying stuff to resell at the flea market. And there's people there buying stuff for themselves. I have not seen one person like checking each item, looking at brands, checking for the condition, like no resellers. Like 
like online resellers. There's people don't buy the same things online as they buy in the flea market. So it varies a lot, but I'm really excited to finally have a Goodwill outlet in my town. I'm really excited that I can go and shop on a daily basis for just a little bit of time and get as little or as much as I want without having to worry about making the best of each trip. And I'm really excited just to be able to, to, to go and shop. <laughs> I really like to stuff. Everybody likes to dig through stuff. Maybe not everybody, but I do. So I'm going to get started getting these things cleaned, get started taking the photographs and putting them on Poshmark. I don't know if you guys sell on Poshmark, but I have my daily checklist. I just started yesterday. It's okay. I didn't start on Monday, like, <clears throat> or, or at the beginning of the month, like a lot of people, but it's cool. You know, I have five kids. I have to work at my own pace and Poshmark gives me the freedom to do that. And it's awesome. So I hope you guys go out and shop and find something awesome. I'm going to go again tomorrow and shop and hope that I find something awesome. And I'm excited. I found money. You guys have a good day. I'm going to go ahead and head out. And hopefully I will be having another video go up soon. I've been working on it on repairing small holes and things in unique ways that will make them still sellable um, because I do consignment and it makes it nice for people to be able to sell all their things, even if they have a little bit of damage. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to go train some jujitsu after I get my kids and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye my one, two viewers. Thank you for liking me. Oh, it's not over yet. Now it is. <laughs>